Hey science fanatics and doom scrollers, ever wonder what a cosmic pause button would look like? Specifically, what if our big blue marble, the Earth, just stopped spinning for exactly one second? Just one second! Sounds harmless, right? Wrong. Get ready for the wildest, most chaotic second of your life. This isn't a minor inconvenience. This is a global catastrophe. The key word here is momentum. You and I right now are whipping through space. If you're near the equator, you're traveling at about thousand miles per hour or by 600 kilometers per hour due to Earth's rotation. That's faster than a jet plane. Now imagine you're in a car going 1,000 miles per hour and the driver slams on the brakes for one second. The car stops, but you don't. That's what happens when Earth stops. Everything not nailed down that includes you, your house, the oceans, and most of the atmosphere tries to keep moving at that insane speed. It's a literal planetary wipeout, and here's the breakdown. On the wind, forget a gentle breeze. The atmosphere continues its 1,000 mph journey. This creates a supersonic wind, a global shockwave. This wind is so powerful it would incinerate the surface, setting forests ablaze and stripping away topsoil. Imagine a sandblaster, but with the entire planet as the target, to the water. The oceans are next. The momentum slams the water against the land masses, triggering tsunamis that are miles high. The resulting mega tsunamis would drown virtually all coastal and low lying inland areas. Kiss your beach vacation goodbye. Three, the rocks. Even the ground would be stressed. The sudden stop would cause massive global earthquakes as tectonic plates shift violently. So in that single second, you're hit by a supersonic hurricane, submerged by a mile-high tidal wave, and shaken by a magnitude 20 earthquake. Good times. Now here's the tiny scientific detail that saves the day, or at least most of the Earth. The rotational speed of the Earth is zero at the North and South Poles. So if you were a very unlucky penguin or a very lucky polar explorer, you might just feel a minor brief shake. The further you are from the poles, the faster you move and the more severe the disaster. Oh, and one last thing. The Earth's core is liquid. This sudden jolt might disrupt the geodynamo which generates our magnetic field. If that fails, we lose our cosmic shield against solar radiation. But hey, we'd have bigger problems by then, right? So what did we learn? Earth stopping for one second is way worse than just spilling your coffee. It's a true extinction level event caused not by an asteroid, but by our own unstoppable inertia. Sleep well knowing that rotational friction is our friend. If you like this apocalyptic nightmare fuel, smash that like button and subscribe. What other impossible scenario should we break down? Let me know in the comments.